Paul Kagame was born on October 23, 1957. He is the sixth and current president of Rwanda, having taken office in 2000 when his predecessor, Pastor Bizimungu, resigned. Kagame previously commanded the rebel force that ended the 1994 Rwandan genocide and was considered Rwanda's de facto leader when he served as vice president and Minister of Defense from 1994 to 2000. So we mainly focused on the very fact that there was need for change in the country and that uh, these stateless people, ourselves, were everywhere in the neighboring countries and beyond, needed to come back home. Kagame was born to a Tutsi family in southern Rwanda. When he was two years old, the Rwandan revolution ended centuries of Tutsi political dominance. His family fled to Uganda, where he spent the rest of his childhood. Kagame fought in Yoweri Museveni's rebel army, becoming a senior Ugandan army officer after Museveni's military victories carried him to the Ugandan presidency. Kagame joined the Rwandan Patriotic Front, RPF, which invaded Rwanda in 1990. Leader Fred Rigiema died early in the war and Kagame took control. By 1993, the RPF controlled significant territory in Rwanda and a ceasefire was negotiated. The assassination of Rwandan President Habyarimana was a starting point of the genocide and with Hutu extremists killed an estimated 500,000 to 1 million Tutsis and moderate Hutus. Kagame resumed the civil war and ended the genocide with a military victory. The information very clearly came in very fast, showing how targeted killings were being carried out and how these were spreading out, not only in Kigali, but going beyond Kigali to other parts of the country. And we knew that was the usual style. The massacres had started. And we have to take action. During his vice presidency, Kagame controlled the national army and maintained law and order, while other officials began rebuilding the country. Many RPF soldiers carried out retribution killings, and at some point it seemed he was merely powerless to stop them. The RPF attacked and disbanded the camps in 1996, forcing many refugees to return home, but insurgents continued to attack Rwanda. As part of the counter-insurgency, Kagame sponsored two controversial rebel wars in Zaire. The Rwandan and Ugandan-backed rebels won the first war in 1997, installing Lauren Kabila as president in place of dictator Mobutu Sese Seko and renaming the country the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. The second war was launched in 1998 against Kabila and later his son, Joseph, following the DRC government's expulsion of Rwandan and Ugandan military forces from the country. The war escalated and lasted until the 2003 peace deal and ceasefire. As President Kagame has prioritized national development, as President Kagame has prioritized national development, launching a program which aims to transform Rwanda into a middle-income country by 2020. As of 2013, the country is developing strongly on key indicators including healthcare and education. Its annual growth between 2004 and 2010 averaged 8% per year. Banking, finance, uh, warehousing, telecommunication, any service you can imagine, which is currently uh, about 44% of share of our GDP has been growing very well. And of course, if you look around in the industries, there's been a construction boom for the past 18 years. And that is also a very big factor in terms of GDP growth. Kagame has had mostly good relations with the East African community and the United States, while his relations with France was poor until 2009. Relations with the DRC remained tense despite the 2003 ceasefire. Human rights groups and a leaked United Nations report allege Rwandan support for two insurgencies in the country, a charge Kagame denies. Several countries suspended aid payments in 2012 following these allegations. Kagame is popular in Rwanda and with some foreign observers. However, human rights groups accuse him of political repression. He won an election in 2003 under a new constitution adopted that year and was elected for a second term in 2010. Most observers describe Kagame's personality as one of seriousness and intelligence. Richard Grant, writing in London's Daily Telegraph, described Kagame as radiating a quality 
of intense seriousness that is both impressive and intimidating. Romeo Delir, commander of the United Nations Assistance Mission for Rwanda, during the Rwandan genocide described Kagame as having a studious air that didn't quite disguise his hawk-like intensity. Kagame has a highly dominant personality, which he uses to enforce his rule and to ensure that his vision for the country is followed. American journalist Stephen Kinzer, who wrote the biography A Thousand Hills in collaboration with Kagame himself, describes him as one of the most intriguing leaders in Africa. Kinzer credits Kagame with leadership skills that have fostered Rwanda's rebirth following the genocide, but also cites a personality of chronic impatience, barely suppressed anger, and impulsive scorn for critics. In his interview with Grant, Kagame claims he sleeps for only four hours a night, devoting the remainder of his day to work, exercise, family, and reading academic texts. Kagame promotes the internet as a means of communication between leadership and ordinary people. In addition to his personal website, which contains a personal blog, he has accounts on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. In 2011, he argued with British journalist Ian Burrell on Twitter, following a tweet by Burrell about media freedom and wonder. In early 2013, he had over 104,000 followers on Twitter, making him the second most followed African leader after South African President Jacob Zuma. President Paul Kagame has received a number of honors and accolades during his presidency. These include honorary degrees from the American University of the Pacific, the Oklahoma Christian University, and the University of Glasgow. The Andrew Young Medal for Capitalism and Social Progress by the Georgia State University, and a Clinton Global Citizen Award. Kagame has also received the highest awards bestowed by the countries of Liberia and Benin. The distinction of the Grand Cordon in the Most Venerable Order of the Knighthood of Pioneers, and the Grand Cross of the National Order of Merit. In September 2010, the British magazine New Statesman named Kagame one of its 50 most influential figures for that year, placing him in 49th place. The Council for East and Central Africa Football Association's football tournament has been named the Kagame Inter Club Cup since 2002 due to his sponsorship of the event. He's married and has four children.